Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can grab the audio portion of a movie or video file uh, using Audacity. So I have this video here. It's just one we grabbed off at Pixabay. It has some rain falling on a window and it just sounds like this. So let's say I want to just make an edit to the audio portion of this video. So we can actually just take it, left click, and drag this video onto Audacity, and it will bring in just the audio. This is really cool. Um, so a couple, um, about a month ago actually, I had a client uh, send me a video that he was having trouble syncing. So he had recorded it on his iPhone, and by the it was like a, an hour long or a 30 minute long presentation, and by the end of it, his audio was off by like two or three seconds. And so I was able to fix it using Audacity. I just uh, did, brought the video in just like this and got the audio portion of it. And then I adjusted it in Audacity by two seconds. I just lengthened it out and then made sure the pitch and everything was the same. And then I uh, used Caden Live to put the video back together. And so that's a kind of a, a practical use of this. But anyway, um, maybe we want to get just this rain sound. So we could now just go File export as mp3 or wave and then we have the audio of this maybe it's a music video but we just want to listen to the music on our mp3 player so we could just do it as simple as that or we can take and we only want to use like a portion of the audio so we can select a certain portion clip everything else <clears throat> outside of that make sure we set it to our beginning here and then we have just a small little sample of rain at this rain and thunder sound uh, so that's really it. Um, I guess since this video is super short, I'll talk a little bit about exporting since I have kind of, you know, gone through that quickly in past videos. So one thing about um, Audacity is if we go to save, if we just save project, it's going to bring up this warning dialog box and say, hey, just so you know, if you save, it's not going to save a sound file. It's going to save an Audacity project file. So we can be like, okay, that's fine. So if we save this on our desktop and hit save, this file looks like this. It's a folder with just like some weird folders and weird things in it. So this is an Audacity file. And then when we go to, if we close out of Audacity and then we get back into Audacity, well actually this is the, this is the file, but this is associated with it. But so if we go to open it up, we go to open and we go to desktop, and then we can actually open this project right here called runoff. So then we can open this and see it. But if we want to save just the audio portion, like export the audio to use in a video project or to have an MP3 to listen to, we can go export, export as wave, and then we can export to the desktop. So save, and now it's an actual wave file Oop, as well. So I'm going to delete this. Uh, better we'll close out of it first. So we can delete this, and now we have just a wave file we can listen to of just that portion that we edited. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. You have to have FFmpeg installed. FFmpeg is like a free open source software for video and audio processing. And I don't think it comes by default with Audacity. I'm pretty sure the first time I did it, when I tried to drag and drop a video in, it said, you don't have FFmpeg, do you want to automatically download it? I just clicked yes, and it did that. So if that dialog box comes up for you when you're trying to do this uh, on Windows, you can go ahead and do that. You can also download FFmpeg. Just do a Google search, or maybe I'll make a video of it, but search um, Audacity install FFmpeg. If you do a Google search for that, you'll find a tutorial showing you how to do that. But you do have to have FFmpeg. And I'm trying to think here, I don't know if I if I can actually, testing, I don't know if I can export MP3s. Maybe I can. No, see, so I, and I, don't, I also don't have LAME properly installed. So let me make a video on that showing how to get LAME configured and FFmpeg configured for you because you can't export. Oh, here we go, right here, just click download. Maybe it'll just do it, or maybe it'll take us to the page. Anyway, you can go. You can just walk through these steps here, and it tells you how to do it. But I'll make a video kind of walking through it as well, because you have to have, um, in order to export your MP3s, you'll have to have that. Uh, what else can we export? OGG is like an open source audio format, so that's a cool one you can export in. Um, you can export as MIDI, but that's only going to be if you actually have a MIDI sequence. Export audio. Let's us just choose. Oh, cool. So if you want to export in a different op a version, you can just go export audio. Then you can choose from this drop down. So if you want to do like 
this FLAC is like a lossless, really good like audio uh, format. There's always there's like uh, different file different formats as well that and if it says ffmpeg after it then you have to have ffmpeg installed in order to do these like these are more like video like formats that like this aac is an audio type that gets used in video quite often so but that's how you would save something other than these ones that it just gives you by default these three so that turned into kind of more of a video than just importing audio tracks from a video but hopefully you found that informative and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.